My name is Amy and I use hand sanitizer and disinfectant spray. I sanitize my hands, I would say, 20 to 30 times a day. Maybe more than that, it depends on where I go in public. She sanitizes her hands, washes them for 20 seconds, and then sanitizes again. I've tried telling her that all she needs to do is wash her hands. That's good enough, but she just keeps going. You just washed your hands four times. Yeah. You're enabling her. She just know. washed her hands four times and you sanitized her three times. I didn't know. It's really hard to pinpoint when the problem first started with Amy and sanitizing, but I started to notice small things like her hands were cracking more than usual and she was having to use more lotion. It was just, a, it became an obsession for her. My husband and daughter say I have a problem. It's not a problem. I'm healthy. I'm sanitized. I'm germ free. Do you mind checking out real quick? Because I'm gonna go to the restaurant oh, yeah, real that's quick fine. before we go. Yeah, I got you. Okay, okay. I got you. I'll be right back. All right. When we first got married, it, it was really fun. I mean, we used to have a blast together. We never worried about what we were doing. And, you know, we were, we were just a couple of kids, just punk rockers, just who didn't care. You know, we, we just laughed at the world and we would just do whatever. I mean, we were never concerned about, you know, anything. It was just a carefree life. We just, just used to have fun together. We loved music and going to parties and going to concerts and just hanging out with each other. She was such an enthusiastic and happy person. She just had so much love for life and other people. You know, she would go up and just hug people and shake hands with people. She, she was just the friendliest person. And she never was worried about germs and things like that. She, she believed in the five second rule. If, if food fell on the floor, Five seconds, good to go. Growing up, I had a fairly normal childhood. My mom was really supportive and sweet, and she always wanted what was best for me. I didn't realize until I was older that she had a problem with sanitizing. Mom, are you in here? What are you doing in here? Nothing. Why do you have your socks off? Because uh, my foot, my foot, my foot was itching. What are you... Hand it over. I don't have anything. When I was in my 30s, I became a school teacher. And one year, it was flu season and everyone was sick. The kids were coughing and hacking and snotting everywhere. And I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it that semester because I sanitized. I moved home shortly after the pandemic started in 2020. I was devastated to realize just how bad her addiction to sanitizing had gotten. In 2020, when the pandemic started, I wasn't too concerned because I knew how to sanitize. I knew how to properly sanitize my hands and I knew how to use disinfectant spray appropriately. And I wasn't afraid that I would catch COVID-19 because I knew what I was doing, but I was afraid. I read the news, I saw the stories, I saw that people were dying, I didn't want to die. So I really, really started to sanitize, not just my hands, but my face, my arms, my body. 
I even sanitized my feet. You just can't be too careful. It's the same with disinfectant spray. One day a student was coughing and coughing and coughing in my face. So I just sprayed her. I just sprayed her all over. In fact, I sprayed all 30 of my students, all 30 of them. And the principal called me to the office. Well, I lost my job that day. You can't spray students with disinfectant spray. I really do use a lot of disinfectant spray. I use it on my hands and my body and, and my hair. And I'll put it on my face sometimes. She just doesn't see what she's doing to herself. It's, it's wrecking her skin and it's, it's wrecking our marriage. Yes. What do you think about this dress? I think the dress looks great. Yeah. Did you get a tan? I did. I got a spray tan today. Look. Check it out. <laughs> Look at your hands, dude. Oh, dude, like, right? It just won't, it never takes on my hands. I've like asked them about That's it not. and they were like, well, you know, just. You're sanitizing. Yeah, That's. That's alcohol. It that's, is not. That's hand sanitizer. It is not. That is not just hand wash. No, that's just the way my skin is. It just doesn't take the tan. Whatever. You know, our sex life is, has gone downhill because it's hard for me to be in the moment and, and be, feel the passion when her cracked, bleeding hand is rubbing across my chest and her hand feels like a Brillo pad. Nothing about that is sexy. That's, I can't get intimate with a loofah. I just can't. I can't sit at the dinner table with her and look at those peeling, bleeding, cracked hands one more time. Oh my God, look at your hands. Mm, I know, it's gassy. I'm just so concerned for her health. I'm sorry. No, this, you know what this is from? It's from sanitizing. No, it's not. It's from constantly sanitizing. I feel like her skin will never be the same. This, this is not gassy. That's gassy. You're ruining your skin. friends because they won't sing the birthday song twice when they wash their hands. I'm afraid I'll lose my family. I'm just really happy that they're following the rules. I feel pressured to sanitize when I'm around her, but the truth is I don't really want to sanitize that much. I just want to wash my hands and use disinfectant as needed, the way it's supposed to be used. Sometimes I feel like if I don't sanitize with her, she won't love me anymore. I have real concerns about whether or not she's gonna be able to stop using sanitizer. Her obsession with, with germs is just out of control. And 
and it's not gonna stop with just sanitizing her hands. She's spraying her whole body down now. These can't be good for her at, at all. All the, all the chemicals that she's inhaling, it's terrible. I worry for her health. Is it okay that I'm doing this? I'm just really concerned about what's going to happen to our life if she doesn't stop using sanitizer. She needs to get some help today. I know that I wouldn't be able to live without my hand sanitizer and my disinfectant spray. It's just become a part of my life and I need it. I know what this is. I know what this is. I know what this is. Would you this please? Is, this is coming from a place of love. But can you just Would listen you just to what we have to say? Please? You got something to say? You got something to say? Amy, you are the most important person to me and my best friend in the whole world. I want you to know that I understand the fears and concerns over germs and viruses, but your sanitizing has reached a harmful and unmanageable level. I fear that the amount of sanitizer and disinfecting products that you use is harming your skin, body, lungs, and immune system. I hope that you will accept this offer and agree to undergo the treatment program we have arranged. Will you please accept the help that we are offering you today? Dear Mom, when you use hand sanitizer and disinfectant spray excessively, it hurts me because I see you hurting yourself. I feel like you won't love me if I don't also use hand sanitizer when I'm with you. So I find myself using it more than I normally would and I feel like it's hurting me too. It kills me to see you spraying strangers in the grocery store. And even more so to see your peeling, bleeding, cracked hands. Like, that can't be comfortable. If you don't accept this help today, I fear for 